Good day everyone! Welcome to our mathematics class. I am Teacher Floor and we will be discussing quarter 1, week 4 lesson. Multiplying mentally 2-digit numbers by 1 to 2-digit numbers with products up to 200. After going through this lesson, you are expected to multiply mentally 2-digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers with products up to 200 including money, mathematical problems, and real life situations. We have learned from our previous lesson that a multiplication sentence has a multiplicand, multiplier, and product. Let's try to do learning task 1. Mentally calculate the products of the numbers below. Number 1. 64 times 10 is 640. Number 2. 86 times 2 is 172. Number 3. 15 times 6 is 90. Continue with numbers 4 and 5. Number 4. 37 times 10 is 370. Number 5. 54 times 10 is 540. Now let's continue with learning task 2. Read and solve the problems mentally. There are 17 pencils in every pencil holder. How many pencils are there in 3 pencil holders? Seventeen times three is fifty one, so there are fifty one pencils. Number two, there are forty five peso coins in a box. What is the total value of the coins in the box? Forty times five is two hundred. So the answer is 200 pesos. Number 3. A pile contains 15 books. How many books are there in 10 piles? Fifteen times 10 is 150. So the answer is 150 books. Let's study. How do you multiply mentally two digit by one digit numbers with products up to 200? To multiply mentally, first multiply the ones, then multiply the tens by the ones, and finally Add the partial products. Let's analyze this example. There are 25 baskets in the table. Each basket contains 6 mangoes. How many mangoes are there? In multiplying numbers mentally, you may use the expanded form to find the product easily. Example, you can expand 25 into 20 plus 5 and then multiply it by 6. 6 times 5 is 30 and then 6 times 20 is 120. 120 plus 30 is 150. So there are 150 mangoes in all. Naunawaan nyo ba mga bata? 
Sige, ulitin nga natin. Para makapag-multiply mentally, maaari nating gamitin ang expanded form. Isipin nyo lang na ang 25 ay maaaring maging 20 plus 5. Kaya 6 times 5 ay 30 at 6 times 20 ay 120. Kapag pinagsama ang 120 at 30, ang sagot ay 150. Let's remember, mental computation is very useful in our everyday living. Being able to compute mentally can save your time. It is easy to multiply number if a factor has a single digit and regrouping is not involved. You can easily find a product for as long as you know the basic multiplication rules. Yun naman pala mga bata, napakadali lang magmultiply sa isip kung alam natin ang multiplication rules at syempre kung sa ulo natin ang multiplication table. Tara, subukan pa nating magsagot. Ngayon ay sagutan na natin ang learning task 3. Try to multiply the following mentally. It's time to do learning task 4. Answer the given problems below. Try to do it as fast as you can. Magaling mga bata, nakuha nyo na kung paano magmultiply mentally. Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan natin ang solving problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies. Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan natin ang solving problems involving multiplication. Learning Task 1 Read and analyze the problem below. Shane made 80 Sampagita garlands. Each garland costs 15 pesos. If she sold all the Sampagita garlands, how much will she earn for the garlands? Mm -hmm. 
Let's answer the following questions. What is us in the problem? Ano ba ang hinahanap natin sa word problem? We are looking for the amount Shane earned for the garlands. Next, what are the given facts? Makikita natin sa word problem na given na ang 80 sampagita garlands at 15 pesos ang bawat isang garland. Susunod, what operation will be used? Ang gagamitin natin para malaman kung magkano ang kanyang kinita ay multiplication. At panghuli, write the number sentence. Isusulat na natin ang 80 times 15 equals N or unknown number. Unawain nga natin, to solve routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, we should follow these steps. Understand, plan, solve, check, and look back. We have to understand what is asked in the problem and what are the given facts. Then, we will plan what is the operation to be used and what is the number sentence. This time, you can now use the operation to solve the problem. And lastly, you can now write the correct answer and check. Upang higit na maunawaan, subukan pa natin ang isang example. Jack bought 8 dozens of eggs from the grocery store to bake some pancakes. He plans to bake the pancakes over 5 days. How many eggs did Jack buy? Let us analyze what is us in the problem. Ang hinahanap natin ay number of eggs bought by Jack. What are the given facts? What operation are you going to use? And what is the number sentence? Kung babalikan natin ang problem, makikita natin na given na ang 8 dozens of eggs. Ang isang dosena ay katumbas ng 12 eggs. Kaya ang 8 dozens of eggs ay katumbas ng 96 eggs. Given na rin sa problem ang 5 days. Kaya para makuha natin ang number of eggs na kailangan ni Jack, Gagamitin natin ang multiplication. Kapag sinulat natin ang number sentence ay 12 times 8 and then times 5 equals N. Ngayon ay gamitin na natin ang operation to solve the problem. Twelve times eight is ninety six times five is four hundred eighty. So there are four hundred eighty eggs. I check mo kung tama ang iyong sagot. Four hundred eighty eggs divided by five days equals ninety six. Ninety six divided by eight dozens equals twelve. Magaling! Nakuha nyo na ba mga bata? Now, let's move on to learning task 2.
And finally, let's answer learning task 3. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Binabati ko kayo mga bata. Ngayon ay natapos nyo na ang inyong quarter 1, week 4 lesson. Hanggang sa muli!